We had a we have a duel between uh, Peter and Miraz in this movie that takes a you know as a central part of the action. In the book, in the illustration, it's almost like a boxing ring. There are like four pieces of wood and a bit of rope. And you think, you know, that's not, that's not going to work in the movie. It's got to be something better. Broad overview to start this thing. When we come back from Poland, we get into the better part of two weeks on the duel. It's almost like a boxing ring, you know. It, we, it's square with columns around it. Instead of using the corners, we're using two opposing sides. Peter comes from the how. Miraz comes from his troops. And suddenly it all, came, it all comes together as somewhere to fight, somewhere to stage the thing. How many more must die for the throne? Just one. I've always been somebody who really believes in intricate, focused, tiny details. And I've been lucky now to do two films with a lot of people that share those ideals. Our Weta workshop obviously being one of those. Meraz is wearing a suit of armour that are heavily uh, etched, uh, overlaid to give multiple levels of texture. There's even a little mural you can see even around this piece here. There's the soldiers attacking and so on. I'm going to show you these. These are our Meraz swords. In Meraz, I saw we actually used a 3D printing technique to actually manufacture the, uh, the cage and the crossbar and so on. It's quite elaborate, especially when... Um, Pictures of quiet place! Gotta go. Uh, we're prepping, today we're prepping largely for the duel, which is coming up this week. Um, so it's all about Moraes for us. It's a big golden army in there. It's, it's a challenge for us, as far as uh, just maintaining and repairing these suits go, you know. Um, time is of the essence, so we need to get whatever's broken or what needs to be repaired done as quickly as possible. We're very close to um, filming the battle and the duel between uh, Moraes and Peter, which is... Uh, which is a D-Day for us. It's something I was looking forward to and excited about. So we've got, we've got people uh, rehearsing and practicing that so that we can, we can see what sort of challenges we're going to have with the, with the armor and the weapons on the day. We're having a, a near full armor dress rehearsal with uh, Mirage and Peter. It's the first time we've seen the choreography right through, so it's interesting for us because we get to see how hammered the armor gets and in what way. Luckily, we have five suits for that purpose, so we can have different stages of breakdown through the fight. Yeah, who do you think's going to win? The big guys look good. On me. Who's guns ain't got no safety catch? 100 bucks on Mraz. Yeah, I'll take it. So just to get into this initially, you'll actually be coming from here. I think we've seen sword fights, one-on-one -on -one sword fights, so many times in the films, and I really challenged Alan to find a new way of doing this. The Peter versus Mraz fight, um, we had a um, choreographed a fight. We started on uh, November last year. William and Sergio had to train for this for months ahead of time so that it felt real, so it didn't feel like it was too coordinated or too balletic or too dance-like. So we can actually even break Peter's helmet. And I think we've created a really interesting duel where it's not just about the swords. It becomes, it does actually become quite hands-on and quite brutal. I would not want to be anywhere else in the world but here right now. I spoke to Sergio. He confessed he hadn't really done any heavy-duty physical fighting. You don't sense it at all in the sword play. He really comes across as this menacing character. It came down that it was, uh, it worked out that I was pretty much the, the right size to, to double um, Sergio. Tag team. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tag team on the bike. Yeah, yeah, right. It is cool. wrestling thing. Finish. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, obviously because I created the fight, so uh, it was a, I didn't have to teach it to anybody. And uh, it was it was great. It was a lot of fun. It keeps you honest. Most stunties were harmed in the making of this movie. Demark. 
No, I think it's a matter of looking at this fight yeah. and finding the beats. Yes. And then kind of going, okay, what's the most interesting way to cover this beat? You know, we shot it a number of ways. We shot it fairly straight at first with, you know, two cameras, a handheld and, and a uh, steady cam. The day of the fight, the best day. Then we actually shot it on a circular track with three cameras. So that while the fight was happening, we were circling them the whole time. The Iconics camera, what we can do with that. I think Alan made some tests today. We built several rigs uh, where we actually built the camera into the shield. This is the smallest high definition video camera we could find called Iconics. Makes for great options of little flash cuts, action cuts. We get to positions where the normal film camera could never go. Good picture. Got to work with Greg and the camera guys and. Um, a bit of um, camera work where they had um, mounted a um, 235 which I uh, wore and then um, fought with uh, William and then changed around and uh, ended up fighting with Sergio. So basically it gave us all these different ways of shooting it that we can cut between. Ready and action! There's a visceral dangerous quality to all of these battles and the challenge for me as a filmmaker has been to find ways to make it feel adult and grown up and action-packed enough that you really believe in all of that jeopardy. Mission complete.